the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Welcome, everyone, to episode 28 of The Daily Mother Swole. Absolutely. Today is Friday, and, you know, today is the classic Flex Friday. I'm ready to rage a little bit. Ready to rage a little bit. And not rage in the sense of, like, a CrossFit organized rage. I want to kind of go a little bit more flexi flexosaurus on this whole thing. Today, talk about gym etiquette. Now, this is going to be a great one. This could be a longer. I'm not going to go too much into each topic, but I got a bunch of them compiled from my own personal experience, combined from some cool input from some of you, and I actually kind of cross-checked with what other people were thinking online, and they're all kind of the same. Everyone has these problems all over the country, all over the world. Super, 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 uh, you know, everyone's on the same page. It just cracks me up. Everyone's on in alignment with this. So if you go to a gym especially if you go to like a commercial gym, like a Bally's, like an LA Fitness, a 24-hour fitness, a New York sports club, uh, maybe even an Equinox, any kind of gym where there's a lot of members that are getting a lot of services for like a flat rate, maybe even a Planet Fitness or a U-Fit, anything. Anything you're going to see some of these aspects at some point. Now, it doesn't mean that none of you have ever done this. doesn't mean that I have never done any of these things. However... You know, this is something that we should be more aware of. But the most important thing is there are people, there are people that do this type of stuff all the time. And if you go to one of these big chain gyms, you know exactly who I'm talking about. You're talking about these freaking guys. The first one I want to talk about is the talk show host. This is the dude or lady, generally a dude. This is the dude that goes to the gym expecting like it's Oprah's fucking book club or something like that. You know, he's organizing a crowd of people to just have a conversation with. He has like a fucking panel by the leg press or something. He will come up to you. If you see this dude, do not make eye contact. Avoid, avoid. You know, we're we're talking DEF CON level. Headphones on, pull the hat down. This is why certain accessories of the gym are effective. This guy will increase your rest time tenfold. Stay away from this D-bag. This is all about how not to be a D-bag in the gym. Okay, do not, if you have a conversation, make it a compliment, make it a statement and move on. Don't make excessive eye contact. Don't prolong, take a hint. When you're talking to someone and they start like, you know, fidgeting with their earphones, putting it back on and looking at their playlist, yeah, move on. Freaking awareness around awareness of the people around you. Stay away from the talk show host. Next one on my list, and here's some good ones. Uh, put some fucking deodorant on, or take a shower. I don't know what some of you, and I'm not saying you as in my listeners per se, but some of these people out there, yeah, some of you, because pro- chance are this could be you. This could be you. Some of you need to take a shower. It's that simple. It's not even, it doesn't come down to deodorant. Some of you just need to wash, wash your pits, wash your crack. I don't know, maybe eat something that doesn't have like a salted cured <laughs> process when it's, when it's being created. Like there's something in your diet. There's something in your genetic profile, or there's just a simple fact that you do not let water run over your body. Yeah, I mean, some people have BO. Well, that's fine. They make P90X. They make P90X. They make these workout programs you could do at home. I'm just saying, if you have a problem with body odor and you're aware of it, you know, you might want to join a 24-hour gym and go at night, or you might want to work out at home. I don't know. It's just almost to the point of, it's like almost rude because you can't avoid BO, yeah, I, I, you know, and I'm getting feedback. It's a disease. I know. I mean, I, I sympathize with someone that has that. I do. But however, 
You know, we're, we're talking about something you can't stop. If there's someone talking in the gym, you can avoid that person. There's someone that makes a lot of noise or uh, or hogs all the weights. You can get there earlier. Yeah, I'm just this is what I'm just saying. Like, you know, some people some people have a disease. Some people don't have a disease, and they just don't clean themselves. This is what I'm talking about. If you have a disease, you know, we could talk individual basis all day long. But if you have a, if you, if you just don't shower or you could just use a little bit of ax or something, something like, please, please put a mask on it, you know, bag it up and put it in the corner. You know, let's seal that and, <laughs> and save it for later. Next one. This is my first beer. This guy throws on way too much weight on the bar starts copying stupid shit that you know a human being would not think of this on their own. They're just copying stuff from YouTube. They're copying stuff from probably fucking CrossFit.com. They're just copying shit they see on TV, and they are doing things that I've never... I still see stuff in the gym, and I know how the body works. You all know I know how the body works. I understand at a very, very high level kinesiology. I, I have a very high education and a very high comprehension for how the body can move and how it should move in different ways that you can move it. And I understand the variety. I don't have to necessarily do everything to understand, ooh, that exercise is good, that works. I know what that could hit. I saw yesterday or the day before, after all these years, after seeing so many things, I saw something I've never seen before. I still saw something and I sat there and I stared. It was like watching a car accident happen in slow motion. I saw something and I'm, I'm thinking, first off, how does that not rip your elbow apart? And second off, how do you, like, I don't even know where you come up with it. It was for a curl. I can't even explain it. It was for a curl and you know, the elbow joint goes one freaking direction. How do you create this kind of variety? What's the, where's the need? It looked like an exercise that was designed to tear every ligamentous structure on the medial part of the elbow, like on purpose. Like, hey, you want to tear your elbow apart today? Cool. Here, let's do three sets of this. That's, that was like what the exercise purpose was for. I can't even explain it. I'll have to like demonstrate all the things. You know what? Maybe I'll do that. I'll do videos where I just demonstrate all the shit. Oh, I don't want to hurt myself though. We'll see. We'll figure it out. We'll take that. We'll, we'll, we'll take that some direction. It has to happen because... Oh, it was ridiculous. All right. The, uh, the ball sweat guy, the guy or the girl who just feels like he wants to share his bodily fluids with you. He doesn't know you, but he's just so nice. He's just so fucking nice. This guy is just, he's such a nice guy. He's like, I have extra sweat. I have extra fluids. Let me share them with you here. Have some. Let's bond the blood brother. We should call this guy fucking blood brother, the sweat brother trying to share his magnesium and his potassium with you, his sodium. This guy that just sweats everywhere, like completely drenches and gets up and just walks away. Considering there's like wipe down stations everywhere. I'm not saying you have to be that person that brings a beach towel to the gym. And I don't, and I'll be honest, I don't always wipe up the bench if there's sweat. If I'm sweating my ass off and I get up and there's just water over it, yeah, I'll wipe it down. That's just gross. I mean, you don't necessarily, I mean, you could wipe it. I mean, really, you should wipe it down. But sometimes, you know, if it's dry, I don't personally care. I'm not that picky. Oh my God, someone got up and it's not, you know, their skin was touching it. You go home and shower. I mean, you can't be, you can only be so paranoid. But aside from wiping it down every time, no matter what, if it's wet, if it's just, dripping. <laughs> yeah, just wipe it off. Wipe it off. Bring a towel. Pretend. Pretend to take care of it. Like literally pretend. Like ghost wipe it. Like just fucking make like, oh, just at least just <laughs> give it like a ghost wipe. Just pretend for me, for anyone that's watching that, oh, this person's aware that he's a piece of shit at minimum. At minimum. All right. So the sweat guy. <laughs> Fuck. Disgusting. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, the close lifter. The close lifter. You ever go to a spot? You ever, you're in a gym, you're trying to do a curl somewhere, or you're at a location and you have some guy that literally wants to smell your DNA while you're lifting, or a girl. 
I wouldn't mind so much if a female wanted to get that close to me, but I have some people where I'm doing like, let's say an incline dumbbell press and I have this guy and, and you know, at a big major gym, you have the benches lined up. You have the benches lined up. So you have the incline bench and you have like a flat bench, a little space between, a little space to walk, to walk through, not to stand between the benches and fucking work out. So you have, exactly, exactly. That's what I'm talking about on Periscope. I'm talking, yeah, the dumbbell area, exactly. Other areas, they're a little more segmented. You have a machine, you have this. So like, you know, if you're on a machine, you're kind of out of everyone's way. You can have someone all around you, but the machine is moving normally. If you're by the dumbbell rack, I'm doing incline press. Someone's doing a chest press on the next. So two people, two human beings, two full grown fucking hulking men with testosterone pumping, just going animal on some chest pressing. This is, this is actually this is a true story, obviously, because I was working out. We're talking beast mode here. We're talking animals. <laughs> this guy, this guy, our child, idiot, grabbed dumbbells and started doing lateral side raises, you know, like taking up as much space as possible between the benches. And I had my headphones on, so I'm like, dude fucking move away. I just yelled at I was like, move because I was going to, I, it was distracting. He was almost going to hit my hand with his hands. Like the dumb was going to hit the weights. I'm shocked. It didn't. And I was pissed because I, there's no room for error. You kind of hit something or tweak it. That's a rotator cuff. You know, your muscles aren't used to it. all of a sudden, like things are shaking out of nowhere. Got to be careful, especially when you're under that much load. So get yourself some space, ask someone nicely, or just be downright rude. You're talking about your health. You're talking about your concern. What if they drop their weights and it lands on my toe? I wear barefoot shoes. Is it my fault? It could be. But if you're right next to me dropping weights or you're rolling weights and you're hitting me, yeah, it's kind of your fault. Because if I had shoes on, it could still hurt. So be aware of that. Don't be that D-bag that close lifts. The chipmunk. The chipmunk. Next one is the chipmunk. The person who feels like they want to make their little home gym in a gym where other people are working out. The fucking chipmunk takes nine sets of dumbbells, a bar, a mat, and just kind of like, whether it's in the middle of the gym or in the corner, you're like, where the hell are the tens through the 35s? And you look in the corner and there's just stacks. This guy created like his own little, it's like some, a kid who never grew up and wants to make a fucking fort in the corner. He's like, you want to play in my fort? Come on over here. I got nine sets of dumbbells. I have a bar. I have a mat. I have a BOSU ball, you know, six cones and a, and a rope from the cable crossover for no fucking reason. That doesn't even belong. It's like, I'm not even doing cables. I just have this rope here. <laughs> Why? Why? You're already in a location. You're already in a house that has the weights. You're already in a big designed box that keeps all the weights organized. With, and that, oh, that goes into the next one. So in other words, don't hoard the fucking weights. Just go. A guest room set up. <laughs> it's like you're setting up shop, paying rent. Like, I'm just going to take a nap. I'm just going to stay over here for an hour. It's, you know, use one. Show me. If an octopus fucking walks into the gym, you can use eight dumbbells. I understand. If I look around, I'm like, where are the fucking dumb? Oh, shit. Octopus is training again. Far out. And he's up there going. <laughs> fucking lifting to eight dumbbells. That's fine. That's fine. Octopus gets his pump on. That's great. Just don't work out when the octopus is in town. But you have two fucking arms. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You don't need that much. It leads me to the next point. The next one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, is the one, the guy or girl with the nanny complex. Put your shit back. Put your shit back. The weight rack has the numbers. You match the numbers on the weights with the rack. You put them back. The one zero, the 10 goes back where it says one zero on the rack. The one that says two five, uh, is you put that back where it says a two five on the rack. It's not complicated. Maybe you grew up with a nanny. Maybe you think, oh, people will put it away. It'll find its way back. Someone needs it. So I'll leave it out here in the middle of the gym randomly where someone has to be like fucking Steve Irwin or Indiana Jones and hunt for the Holy Grail of like a 15 pound dumbbell. 
hey, I want to do side raises, you know, and the quest fucking begins, you know, for the idol. It was just like, what, what, are you, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish? Why do you have to be such a piece of shit that you can't put your weight back on the rack? You know, just like Arnold said in Kindergarten Cop, you bring your toys back to the carpet, do it now. Bring your toy back to the carpet, put your toys away. I always say that in the gym, if I'm teaching a class or I'm teaching a class, I, sometimes I joke around, I say, put your toys back, make sure you put your toys away. But I say that casually, I don't say it as an insult, but it's the same concept. Put your stuff away, you took it, you use it, and uh, you put it back. That's simple. That's simple. The nanny complex, people that just think that someone's going to do it for them. Enough. Enough of that bullshit. Uh, this is kind of, like, kind of the same thing with the whole, with the uh, the chipmunk, the guy who does a well, not not actually not the same thing. Could be machines. The superhero, the super circuit. This person is using nine machines, six dumbbells at the same time. At the same time. The super circuit. Oh, hey, I got one more set. Where the f- Where'd you come from? You got one more set? Oh, it's, you're working in with Casper? If you're not using it, if you're not on it, you're not using it. If you're using it, fucking stay on it and use it. You can't use five machines at the same time. I understand if you have like a system going, but guess what? Buy your own equipment and do it at home. I'm not going to stand there and be like, oh, I'm using that right now. This machine, I went up to machine. Oh, I'm starting to get heated. I went up to a leg press, a leg extension, and it was open- this machine was open long enough for me to go over there, put my bag down, take a sip of water, stretch for a couple minutes, do a warm set or two. And this guy comes up and be like, oh, how many more sets do I have? I don't know. I just started. He goes, oh, because we were, you know, we were, we were working in. Where? Where were you working in? Where was, out of where? What, would you like just appear? You just like an apparition? You just, boom. You just appear, like came out of the ground, like, mm, yes, it's time for me to do a set. Like fucking Dracula. <laughs> you, you weren't there. You weren't there. If you're using it, you're using it. If you're not using it, you're not using it. At least be in the vicinity and let me know before I actually like get my mind right and pick something to do. I just didn't feel like making the argument. So I was like, and he's like, oh, well, you could work it. I'm like, how many people? He's like, oh, me and my girl. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck this. And I left. A piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. And later on, I knew he wanted to use the squat rack for the next exercise, so I stayed there a lot longer. So payback's a bitch. Yeah, it happens. Don't piss people off in the gym, especially people that actually lift weight. Yeah. Whoopsies. Guess you're not the squat today. But yeah, don't piss people off. And if you make a mistake like that, then just suck it up and you do a different machine. You do a different one. So, you know, I'm not trying to create confrontation, but just don't do it. Don't do it. Another one. Got a long list. See if we can get them all in today. Where's the rest of your shirt, bruh? This goes for women, too. Where your fucking clothes? Where are your clothes? (laughs) What 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 are you trying to accomplish? Why are you wearing a bikini to the fucking gym? First off, you don't look that good. Just being honest, you don't look that good. You should not be wearing that. If you are not sure, if you're not sure whether or not you should wear something and you're a female, don't wear it. Isn't that the rule? I don't know. Does this look good? No. Fuck no, it doesn't. Oh my God, it does not. It does not. Please no. Just no. It does. It doesn't. That's, that's, that's it. That's it. You're not sure. No, get a friend, get on Periscope and show people that have no interest in saying what you want to hear. You know what? That's a great way to use Periscope. Everyone, ladies, if you don't know what to wear, go on Periscope and have people that really don't give a shit about your feelings. Tell you their honest opinion. They'll either tell you that they want to bang you or they'll be like, oh my God, you look horrific. Take that off. You get honest opinions. That's actually probably the best use of Periscope. There you go, ladies. I just helped you. I just helped you. The Turks. Yeah. Those Turks really get angry. Those Turks really get amped up on Periscope, don't they? They, 
they love them some uh they love them some trolling. Yeah, where's the rest of your shirt, dudes? Why are you wearing a string tank? First off, you're skinny. I don't know if this is your first day in the gym and some and you lost a bet. But why if I can Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm 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 freaking out. If I could see your nipples, if I could see your nips, there's a problem. If I could see your if I could see your nips no matter what, there's a problem. If I could see your nips and you're wearing a t-shirt, I don't know. I mean, sometimes I'm sure you could probably see my nips. You're wearing a tight shirt. That's fine. Women, I don't have a problem with nips. I don't think there's this, I, I don't see where the actual obsession or like the, oh my God, I see the nipples. It's a little bump in the shirt. Yeah. You sucked on them for a year. You know, I mean, like anyone doesn't know what a freaking nipple is. I, I'm not a bit, I don't care about nudity. That doesn't bother me. Just the fact that people are like wearing things on purpose. I personally don't like a lot of like extra stuff in the gym. I'm not a big fan of sleeves in the gym all the time. I don't like baggy shorts. I don't like, I'm not going to wear like, you know, spandex short shorts, but I'm also not a chick. And if I wear spandex short shorts, you know, I don't want everyone to see the goods, so to speak. But you need to wear something that's appropriate. I mean, you look like, you look ridiculous. You look ridiculous. If you're a pro bodybuilder, I don't even think a pro bodybuilder should use it. Who wants to see your nipples? Like you're wearing, I, I don't see the point of wearing a shirt that doesn't exist. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about those extremes. I'm talking about this, like the string. You cut him so thin where like it just goes like around the nip and like the shirt kind of like comes together like right under the nipple and like they're just kind of sliding back and forth. Like it's barely a shirt hanging by a thread. Why? They make shirts that are sleeveless. They make undershirts. They make sleeves cut off and they, yeah, they, they just cut. Yeah. And the side of the shirt at the bottom by the waist on the side, there's like a centimeter of material. Like, you know, it's just like hanging on like a tug of war. Like it's freaking like ancient Egypt and they're building the pyramids and they're holding onto a block and they're like, head sila, head sila. And they're holding on to like, you know, the strings holding on for fucking dear life. It's like, Jesus Christ. It's like every thread is just like Braveheart. Hold, hold now. Show the nip. <laughs> It reminds you of like a gladiator movie or something. It reminds you of something like that. Wear a shirt. If you're going to wear a shirt, wear a shirt. Otherwise, don't fucking wear a shirt. If you go to CrossFit, maybe you don't have to wear a shirt. Um, just please, just wear a shirt anyway. You shouldn't be without a shirt. First off, that's just, if you don't wear a shirt to the gym, you're just going to sweat everywhere and that's even worse. I mean, that's, that's gross. I don't want to get out. You can just get like, who knows? You can get a rash or something. Just I can wear, cover your body up. Jesus Christ, just fucking wear a shirt. And if you're going to wear a shirt, wear a shirt that is a shirt. Don't cut 90% of the shirt off and wear like a, tie like a piece of twine around your neck and like, hey, I'm wearing the shirt today. No, you're not. You're wearing a string. You're wearing a, you're wearing a, a piece of fabric. Whew. All right, that was a good one. That was a good one. All right, we're going to combine this next one. Dropping lightweight. Dropping lightweight. Let's start there. I got to break it up. I can't. I was about to combine them. Couldn't combine them. Still rolling. Solnormous is hot today. Solnormous is hot. Hot. I'm on fire. Oh, I'm rolling. This is great. I'll take this for an hour if I have to. Oh, this is, this is wonderful. All day long. Dropping lightweight. You could dro- drop weight if you need to drop weight. If you're bench pressing hundreds, I get it. I would, you know, you can, what do you do? Put them down gently. Yeah, you can come up. You don't have to be like, and then just throw them. But you know, you come up and then you kind of drop them on the ground. I'll drop weights conservatively. First off, stop doing heavy deadlifts or deadlifts and slamming 225 on the ground when they're not bumper plates. You're going to break the weights. You're going to break the fucking floor and it's loud and it echoes through the entire gym. And that's not a lot of weight for a deadlift. Okay. Dropping anything, dropping anything. I see these guys doing deadlifts with wrong form, by the way, slamming like 225. It's, you gotta, I mean, in my opinion, you have to earn the right to slam weights. If you're gonna slam weights like that, you better be going to a gym where they have an Olympic platform where you could bounce them. So it doesn't scare the shit out of the kids in the kids club across the fucking gym. It doesn't sound like 
you know, Godzilla is walking, you know, stomping down the street. Stop slamming the weights, especially if they're light. Put them down with control or go lighter because you obviously can't handle, you obviously can't handle the weight because you have absolutely no control when you put them down. And either someone's going to get hurt, you're going to break something, or at best, you're a D-bag. That's just like the best case scenario is you're a piece of shit. Next one, the gorilla. The gorilla is earned. You have to earn the right and you have to use it applicably. And the gorilla is the grunt. The grunt, the yell, the ah, come on to more, I could do it. That's earned. You could earn that. I'm not saying I'm in the gym going, yeah, but you have to earn that. You're big enough to lift heavy weights that warrant that release of air and that, ugh. it's actually been shown when you yell, when you release, when you have like a war cry, sports science, when you release a war cry, when you scream, the body thinks it's on, on an elemental level, an evolutionary level, thinks it's going to war and releases endorphins. That's why in karate you go, ha, ha, when people punch and kick things, they yell, they release energy. It's actually beneficial to create more power. But it doesn't apply when you're benching 15 pounds. It doesn't apply when you're benching 135. It doesn't apply when you're deadlifting 95 pounds. Breathe, focus on your form, and shut the fuck up. You have to earn the right to yell in the gym. If you're going to do it, if you're going to yell, if you're going to grunt, then lift some damn weights. Push yourself. Use it applicably. You don't have to yell super loud. You can release the air and release the sound controlled and make it effective. Trust me. Trust me. I hear people yelling and I go over there and I'm squatting, front squatting 315 and I'm not making a sound. Now, wh why can I do that without making a sound and just breathing and pushing? Whereas someone else has to yell at the top of their lungs when they're doing a dumbbell row with 35 pounds. Just a thought, just a thought, just a thought, okay? All right. So we got the stinky guys. How about the Jim Bono? Some guy that didn't get, um, has a U2 cover band in the gym, and he's wearing his freaking sunglasses inside. If you're going to wear sunglasses inside, wear those glaucoma ones. If you have an eye problem, let me know that you have an eye problem. Don't go in there wearing freaking Oakley's in the gym. Ah, just sunglasses inside. I understand the fluorescence. Wear a hat. You don't need sunglasses. You don't need sunglasses. That's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. That, that, I almost didn't have to say this one because I don't think anyone disagreed. I, who cares? Then be high. That's fine. Just wear a hat. Pull the hat brim down. There you go. Blocks the light. The fluorescent light hurts my eyes then don't go to a gym that has fluorescent lights. I mean, it's, uh, that one doesn't piss me off as much, but it just, it's just, I mean, it's just ridiculous. So the Jim Bono, the guy who needs a workout partner, the guy who needs a work, little, little blind people will have a dog in there. You'll know they're blind. Um, and that's fine. Know, that's fine. The guy who just needs a spot, who needs a workout partner, needs a friend, and just keeps on asking you for a spot. First off, when he has bad form, when he spots, I turn down the spot. I turn down spots sometimes. Hey, can I get a spot? No. I'm doing short rest. I can't do it, man. I think that guy's free. He's like, all right, man, thanks. I've turned down spots before because I don't want to stand there resting two or three minutes to help you work out when you should have thought about that. You should get a partner if you need help. I usually will do a spot. If someone asks me nicely, I'll spot them if it's applicable. I'm not, you know, cause you don't want someone to get hurt. You don't want to be like, oh no, I'm not spotting you. And this guy's trying to lift a little bit more, but get a lifting partner. Why should it affect my workout? Because you don't have anyone to help you train. Also, I turned down a spot. I met these two you know, nice kids. Nice kids. They're like 15 years old. You know, they're working hard. They're getting into fitness. Great. This one kid was like, hey man, can I get a spot? I said, sure. What are we doing? He goes, oh, I'm going to try to get a, do a hundred on, on dumbbell bench. This kid was going to max bench or try to do one rep with a hundreds. 
for dumbbell press. I'm like, I'm not spotting you for that. I was like, no, you should never be doing a max rep with dumbbells. I'm like, no, I said, I'm not, I'm not going to spot you. I said, I'll, if you want to drop the weight and do like four or five reps, I'll spot you, but I'm not going to spot you for a, a one rep max. Not going to do it. And I told him why he shouldn't do it. And then he didn't do it. And they went and did a different exercise. They're like, oh, okay, I explained why, but they listened and they went on like, oh, I didn't know that. Okay. That makes sense. I was like, if you want to do max benching, then, you know, get a spotter or two. And then it's like, you want to do that on a bar, I'll spot you. But I told him why I don't really believe in max reps and why you should do it on a bar. It's just safer. So I turned down spots for certain reasons too. Like I'll just deny if I notice out of the corner of my eye, someone has bad form and I'll say, I'm not going to spot you if you do them like that. You could, I'll spot you if you do the reps the way I want you to do it. Yeah, you could effectively train the lifting. Hey, it depends on what your goal is. So anyway, and I have one more, um, a good, uh, supporter of mine, Spartan Grizzly on Snapchat. <laughs> He, uh, he sent me one because I asked, and now we might have to do another episode of this. His pet peeve is <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the <laughs> oh, I'll call it the clean canteen. Call it the guy, the Captain Gallon. Yeah, his pet peeve, and he messaged me on Snapchat, uh, is the guy that fills up a jug. A jug. A gallon of water at the water fountain. And he's like, fucking do that somewhere else. That's a good one. Sometimes I go in with a gallon jug, but I make sure I fill it up before. First off, the gym water just tastes like, you know, just tastes like taint. It's just disgusting. It has like that metallic, it's nasty. But then you're, let's say you're in the gym. So I, and I always like to have my water nearby. I don't like to walk and interrupt my set and go across. But then you walk across the whole gym and you have to, you stand over there and you're like, oh. There are gracious people that, you know, they're filling up and they know it's like, oh, here, man, jump in. And then you get a sip of water. Thanks. And then they go back to filling it up. That I don't mind so much because I get it. You know, it's fine. It's free water, not taking and stealing at all, you know, but don't, but some people just stand there with their back turned. They fill it up and they fill it up and they fill it up. And if you know how long a fucking gallon takes, just keep an eye. If you're going to fill a gallon, if you're going to fill a gallon water jug at a gym, do like one of those like, you know, obtuse angles, like where you can see people walking up that might need thirst now that didn't bring the water forgot their bottle or whatever under preparedness i know but some people just don't take fitness that far they don't want a water bottle they go like, oh, there's a water fountain there let's drink that which they should they pay for it. it's a membership just don't be rude don't be a d-bag kind of simple and that's it for today holy episode i know that was probably come down to like half an hour or so but i will open up to periscope uh, if you want to, don't be rude. Yeah, I don't know if anyone else has any comments. I'm going to start. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good little rant, but this is all good shit. I know there's more. I know there's more. So here's the thing. Here's what I want you to do. If you have other things, and I'll make note, I want you to go on Snapchat. Swole Normus, same screen name. You can go on, man, you can comment below on the video on YouTube. Let's keep this conversation going. There could easily be a part two. We can go deeper into this. There might be other ones or other people or other pieces of shit that we didn't talk about. If there's a piece of shit at your gym, let's talk about them. Let's talk about her. You know, I know there's a couple things in my head that are popping up now that I can get to discuss, but that's fine. There's another day. That's why it's called the Daily Mother Swole episode number 28, the 28. This is episode 28, everyone. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. I love it. We're coming up on 30, and then we're going to do something real. We're going to start having like landmark episodes. This is going to be really, really freaking sweet. So, episode 28 of the Daily Mother Swole. You can find me on Busker. I do some random broadcasts on Busker, but Busker is a great place to watch. I uh, appreciate the donation on Busker. That's very, very generous. Thank you so much. It's definitely going to go towards equipment uh, or just like two packs of bacon. I'll cheers to you. So yeah, <laughs> thank you so much on Busker. Thank you for watching on Periscope. If you follow me on either Busker or Periscope, uh, follow me, subscribe, you know, like, follow, whatever the heck the word is on either of those platforms. Uh, because I do random scopes, I'll just scope and I'll do a QA and a or just chill. Sometimes late at night I'm editing videos and then I'll just go on and, um, you know, I'll just talk or chill. And a lot of times we just kind of hang out and, but quite people ask questions. And as you know, if you follow me on Periscope that I do give answers. And you know what? I've kind of this like underlying goal. I get so many hearts on Periscope. Keep blowing it up because I kind of want 
I kind of want to get to a million. I want to get to a million. Something about, I just want to get there eventually. I'm already at like 200 and like 20 or something like that. I want to, let's get to a million hearts. Hashtag a million hearts. Hashtag millions. Let's just get up there. So we'll have to have one night where like everyone comes in and just pumps hearts for like an hour and I'll talk and I'll sing and I'll dance and I'll do some weird shit and give you guys some value. <laughs> so follow my YouTube channel at Soul Norma. Subscribe because I put a lot of great videos up there. Daily Soul goes up every day. Podcasts on iTunes and SoundCloud. Uh, iTunes goes back to like episode 19 or 18 or 17. I'm not sure why. I have to figure out why the earlier ones, but SoundCloud has them all. SoundCloud has them all. So if you don't have all the podcasts, you can go to soundcloud.com slash Swolnormous. They have an Android and they have an App Store app, and it's actually a really great application. Uh, you might like it a lot better for podcasting. So I would check it out. So you can have that for iPhone or Android. Let's see what else is coming up. What the zitits are coming up? More exercise videos, the plank video, if you haven't checked that out, how you're probably doing the plank wrong, check out that video. Got some new stuff on YouTube that just got posted and more things to come. So regular, more content, exercise descriptions, more swole motions, driving while gainings are coming out like wildfire. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for checking everything out. And I will see everyone next time on The Daily Swole. Peace out. Have an awesome, awesome rest of your Friday and the start to your weekend. I'll see you next time. See you manana. <laughs> <laughs>